Hello guys, welcome to the episode number two of this Swindon save. We're back here. We've got Gillingham next, but before that, let's go through what has happened in between last episode and this episode. We've only actually had two wins. 4-2 win against Carlisle and a 2-1 win against Stockport last time out. But we've had some decent results. First one was against Salford. Luke Jeffcott put us 1-0 up. For Odin Bailey scored to make it 1-1. One, one. Uh, Romario Hutton picked up a small knock in that game. It wasn't too bad. Um, so a one all draw. Not too bad against a decent side. Then we went and played against Northampton. 2-0 loss. Blake Tracy got sent off. Not ideal, really. But then a 4-2 win against Carlisle. It's going to be the... Uh, goals that we're going to show you. We're going to show you the uh, goals for this game because it was a very, very good game where we took the lead after 14 minutes through Luke Jeffcott, him scoring once again. And Darcy, who was back from injury, played it through. Jeffcott in behind, great finish. Past the sliding goalkeeper, and yeah, great start to that one. Then Wakeling down the right hand side. Play it back to Hutton. Then into Reed. Reed from range. What a goal. Absolutely spectacular from Louis Reed. And then we'd get our third with half an hour goal. Jeff Cott couldn't play the ball in. And then Spong over to Wakeling. Great finish. And he's on fire at the moment, by the way. We'll get into that in a second. But we would be pegged back. Carlisle, Armour, into Dennis. The keeper's definitely got to do better. And they'd score their second as Dennis would score. And then we would finish the game off as Ian Dolo played the ball over to Wakeling. Great header to win the game. Four goals to two. And yeah, an impressive performance from the team in that game. Then we would go and lose 3 1 to Leighton Orient. Um, and in between these games, Solbrin did get injured, which led to the debut for our new goalkeeper. And we'll talk about the signings in a minute. Jacob Wakeling would get us a draw against Rochdale before he would score twice in the game against Stockport, where Paddy Madden got sent off, making it easy for us. And then in the Papa John's Trophy, we were 2 0 behind due to two Josh Apai goals. Then Tommy Adeloye scored twice before Lewis Aperi scored to make it 3 2 to that. So let's first of all have a look at the transfers that we've made. We've made four transfers. The first one was Callan Hazeman, um, who is now out on loan at Dagenham and Redbridge. But we signed him. He's a youngster. We have some good potential, um, three, uh, four and a half star potential, ability, f two and a half star, current ability, only 18, previously of Tottenham's academy, played a couple of games, but we've sent him out on loan to get some good game time in the league below. Jack Spong, we've brought in on loan from Brighton, he is a central midfielder, played pretty much every league game this season so far for us. Three star current ability, four and a half star potential ability, the 20 year old joins. And Oliver Bosworth is our new backup goalkeeper, he's two star current ability, five star potential ability. And he has joined from being previously of Almuncar City. Um, if, sorry if I've messed up that pronunciation, but he was of Leicester before that. And now he's here at Swindon, played two games in the league, when didn't do the greatest, but um, I'm sure that he will grow into someone good. And then we've brought in Killian Phillips on deadline. We brought him in on deadline day to be the backup defensive midfielder. He's 20, um, and the Irishman joins from Crystal Palace on loan for the season. Three-star current ability, four-star potential. So... Let's just have a look at who our kind of best players have been. So goals wise, Wakeling is our top goal scorer, seven goals in six league games. He is on fire on that right wing at the moment. Jeff Cott has got a couple of goals. Same with Tommy Adeloye, uh, Adeloye sorry. 
and if we look at League 2, we do sit 7th in the table, only 4 points off top after 6 games. Awards wise, we actually got 2nd in uh, goal of the month and 3rd um, in, uh, in July with that goal from Wakeling in the Harrogate game, but we got 2nd with Louis Reed in uh, that month um, with the goal that I showed you. And then um, we also got um, Young Player of the Month with Jacob Wakeling. So, Young Player of the Month for the 20 year old. So, let's get into this game against Gillingham then in the league. They're eighth, we're seventh, and this is the team it's Brennan Goal, Hutton, McDonald, Bowdry, and De uh, Devine, the uh, back four. Um, the reason that there is no Lavinia and um, Clayton is they're both on international duty for their respective under 21 teams. Um, Reed, Gladwin and Spong are the three in midfield and it's Wakeling, Williams and Jeff got the front three. So it's very similar to what we were playing, what we were doing before. Uh, I have made a slight tactical tweak. We're going for more of a standard tempo, just upping the tempo a little bit. And um, yeah, uh, Hepburn Murphy back from injury for this game. Um, Darcy isn't fully fit, so we're just leaving him out today. So let's get into this. Uh, here we are then. Um, I want to be impressed, is what we're going to say. So away at Gillingham, and let's see what we can do. We've got an early free kick here. Divine, ball in. It's a decent ball, but they've turned it over. However, Reed will pick the ball up near the halfway line, out wide to Divine, ball in towards Johnny Williams at the back post, oh he's hit the bar, Johnny Williams has hit the bar already, and that was very close from Johnny Williams, and that's kind of what we've been trying to do, and Williams so close to opening the scoring, but we're completely dominant right now in this game, however free kick for Gillingham, and they're going to go short to McKenzie, Bowdry wins the ball, but it looks like he's given a penalty, the referee. Maybe he just put a bit too much force behind winning the ball back, and Gillingham have got a corner. A corner? Sorry, a penalty. Williams to take. Oh, and I thought Bryn had saved it, but it's gone in. Sean Williams gives Gillingham the lead, and it's not really deserved, but we gave away the penalty. And they lead. Oh, Johnny game. Williams with the set piece. What can he do? It's towards the back post, and no one was there to meet it. And here's Jeff Cott, puts a ball in. Spong's there, and Spong scores. And it's his first goal for Swindon Town. And he's now off the mark. And in his sixth league appearance, Spong scores. It's a great head up. He's been ever present since he's came in on loan from Brighton earlier on in the season. Jeff Cott did really well to put the ball in and Spong heads in. And um, I just want to say sorry if you can hear any of the background noise. Um, my dad is mowing the uh, garden right now. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. So come to the end of this half. Divine. Spong, what can he do this time? Divine, great ball but... No one could get there though. Wakeling will pick the ball up. It's been a bit quiet today as Wakeling. On that right hand side. Here's Hutton. What can he do? Gladwin. Out wide to... Well, inside to Reed. Shoots from range. And um, Louis Reed, I thought, was going to put it in the back of the net there. As throw in for Gillingham in their own half. And it's cleared away. McDonald picks the ball up. His spawn. Reed. Looking for Wakeling. Law heads away and now Gillingham have got the ball. But Wakeling does really well to win it back. Wakeling bearing down on goal. Wakeling it's saved by Morris. And Wakeling did really well there, but the finish wasn't the best from Jacob Wakeling. And we're going to make. Our first change of the game. We're going to bring on Hepburn Murphy for his first appearance of the season. And we're also going to bring on Morgan Roberts. Who is someone that I want to 
see how well he can do. He did really well um, at Banbury last season and let's see how well he can do this season here at Swindon Town. Elmer. Oh, eh, Elmer? I can't say his name properly. Here's Cash Kit though. In behind, ball in, Mandaron was there, Baldry did really well to clear, but it's not gone too far away, and Mandron scores, and it's a great goal by Mandron, brilliant finish, and Gillingham lead again, and once again, it's not the most deserved lead, but they've got the lead, and Mandron finishes really well, Kashkit just put that ball into the area of uncertainty for Swindon Town and Mandron, great finish. The header, here's Spong, over the top, here's Wakeling, in behind, Wakeling, great save by Morris, and Wakeling denied of his eighth league goal of the season, and it seems like it's going to be the first defeat, well, our second defeat of the season, but it's a game that we definitely should have won, we were definitely the better side. You know, had more shots, more possession, more on target as well, and we have to be doing better. So, not too happy about that performance, but we move on. I'm sure that we will do better. So, we drop down to 10th place out of the playoffs. And, yeah, a poor, poor, poor result. And I'm sure that the players will not be happy with that at all. So, back-to-back -back losses in all competitions. And that Gillingham defeat. Very annoying. So, that will be the end of today's episode. I'm trying to keep these pretty short and snappy. So, the next game that we'll play. Um, we'll probably go to November, start of December. Somewhere somewhere in that region. Um, so, I'll play through quite a, bot, uh, quite a lot of games. And um, I'll try and get that video out to you sometime soon. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Um, and yeah, thank you for the support. And uh, goodbye.